Hi students, today's class I would like to discuss another property of light that is refraction. So till now we discussed earlier property reflection and in, in the concept of reflection we studied much more about mirrors and ray diagrams and this concept will be the another property the refraction of light let's see in detail what is refraction have have ever noticed like this situation suppose you put a straw in a half filled glass of water so here you can clearly observe so right at here so the straw appears to bend so it's an optical illusion it's not real first of all that's we call an optical illusion it appears to be like that so that is due to because of the property of light so that is known as refraction of light first of all what is refraction so refraction occurs when light travels from one medium to another medium what does it mean at here exactly suppose in this example if i take the light is traveling half filled glass it means at at here which medium is present it is present air medium is present and another half filled medium this another medium is water in this case so what happens at here when light is traveling from air to water it is supposed to travel then only we can see the straw which is inside the water when it travels from air to water or in technical language you can say when light travels from one medium to another medium so it is changes its direction so this property is known as refraction as a definition we can say that light is the refraction is the change in the direction of light when it passes from one medium to another medium so to have to happen refraction we need to have two mediums so when light traveling from one medium to another medium because of there is a change in the speed of light because of that the light will be bent so that property is known as refraction now see it here so let us take a case suppose in this diagram which is shown at here so the above medium is air and the below medium is either you can take glass or water technically we can call air as a rarer medium which is having less density and glass or water we call as a denser medium suppose when light falls in the medium perpendicularly it means there is a no angle with the surface if it falls on the two mediums exactly perpendicularly 90 degrees so the light is do not deviate it is called as undeviated so in the refraction if light ray enters another medium perpendicular to the boundary 
द रे डज नॉट बेंड सो इन दिस केस द लाइट रे इट डज नॉट बेंड वेन इट इज इंसिडेंट इन द टू मीडियम इंटरफेस पर्पेंडिकुलरली so what happens if you change that angle now here you can see instead of the taking perpendicular now if light ray is falling with certain angle so this angle the angle made by the incident ray with the normal so if this is angle of incidence when light is traveling from one medium here is air is one medium through another medium here taken another medium is water so instead of the going light ray straight here you observe that it is bending towards to the normal so when light ray travels sorry when light ray incident with an angle at the interface of the two mediums so it is traveling from air to water at the normal it is starts to bend it is bending towards to normal so what could be the reason at here why the light ray is bending so it is due to because of the density of water you can say clearly when light is traveling inside the water so water is more denser than air so the speed of light will decreases to know the terminology at here the ray which is incident on the normal so this is known as incident ray and the ray which is refracted so this is known as refracted ray and a part of that here are the two angles we are measuring one is the angle made by the incident ray with the normal is known as angle of incidence and the angle made by the refracted ray with the normal is known as angle of refraction so this is the terminology so finally when light ray travels from air to water the refracted ray bends towards to normal that is happening due to because of the density of water now what can you guess if light ray is traveling from water to air reverse what can you guess now see the opposite case to the earlier case now in this time the light ray is coming from the water so this is the incident ray the light is coming from the water and it is striking at the normal now the angle made by the incident ray with the normal is known as angle of incidence and here interestingly you can see when light is traveling from water to air or in technical language if i can speak so that we call as water medium we can call as denser medium and air medium we can call as rarer medium so when light ray travels from denser to rarer now it is coming from inside to the water now at here you can closely observe the refracted ray it is bending away from the normal now you can observe the angle which is made by the refracted ray with the normal is larger so that what happens when light is traveling from denser to rarer medium so finally if you can say that when light is traveling from denser to rarer medium it bends away from the normal 
so here also you can see what could be the reason reason the same reason because air density is less than the water density so the speed of light changes so that is the reason it is a bending away from the normal so finally in the two cases when the light is traveling from one medium to another medium either it will bend towards to the normal or it will bend away from the normal it is depends upon the the selection of the medium what we have chosen let us understand in detail with the help of phed stimulation see at here so i am having a setup let me explain the setup first so this is my source so at here this is my light source light source suppose if i take normal at here so this is the normal the white the white surface at here is air surface air medium here i am having controller so with this control i can change my medium air to glass or water anything i can change it now on the bottom surface at this one the blue so blue color goes to this is water medium so i am having the two medium so with the help of the bottom controller so i can i kept this at water medium so this is present at water medium now if i switch on light if i switch on light so the light will incident on the surface let us see the first case the first case is when light is exactly perpendicular between two mediums so at here light is incinerating normally means perpendicularly so here we do not see any reflection there is a no refraction suppose what happens if i take this source with a an angle so i am having at here certain angle measures so i can measure the angles also now this light ray is incinerating on normal with an angle at here is given angle is 47 degree now here you can see at the interface means between the two mediums here we are seeing two light rays one is reflecting into the same medium so this is known as reflected light ray the ray which is reflecting into the same medium so that known as reflected ray and apart of that you are seeing one more thick ray thick in color so this ray we call it as refracted ray now here you can clearly see that the angle of incidence and angle of refraction so here the angle is measuring so this angle we represented as r now that we call as angle of refraction and the angle made by the incident ray to the normal that we are representing angle i is known as angle of incidence now here you are seeing one more angle on the picture so this is we already know that that's called as angle of reflection is reflection
So here three angles are there. Don't be confused. But we will concentrate only the two. That two are angle of incident. Another one is angle of refraction. So this diagram shows that when light is traveling one medium to another medium. When light is traveling one medium to another medium. So due to because of there is a change in the density in the another medium. So the light ray starts to bend. Suppose if I play with this source with an angle. You can clearly observe how the refracted ray is changing the angle. If I increase the angle of incidence, the refracted ray angle also increases. And if I decrease, and it happens to decrease. Now, this property of light is known as refraction. Means the bending of light traveling from one medium to another medium which is known as refraction. So in this case when the light is traveling from rarer medium means air medium to water medium it is bending towards to the normal. It is bending towards to the normal. Now, let us see what happens if I change the mediums. So, it means I wish I would like to take on the upper medium is denser medium. So, in that case, I have to take the first medium is in the water medium and the second medium is air medium. Now, in this case, the, air, the light is traveling from so, since it is a water, we can call it as a denser medium. And it's an air, so it's called as rarer medium. Now, according to refraction, when light ray travels from denser medium to rarer medium, it should bend away from the normal. So, initially, if there is a no angle, between the angle of incidence so there won't be any refraction suppose if I make certain angle of this light source so let me take this is an angle of this light source so here you can see with this angle you clearly notice that this is known as angle of incidence and this is known as angle of refraction. Now, not only that, if you can clearly observe the ray, the refracted ray, the refracted ray is bending away from the normal. It means it is going away from the normal. So that is happens due to when light is traveling from denser to rarer medium. Okay. So from this PHET stimulation, we understood that when light is traveling from rarer to denser, when light is traveling from rarer to denser, suppose if I change that medium to glass, when light is traveling to rarer to denser, rarer it goes to air medium and denser here in this case glass medium. When light is traveling from rarer to denser medium, it is bent towards to normal. So from the normal it is bending towards. Now what happens if I switch the mediums? It means when light travels from denser medium means if I take glass medium to rarer medium, rarer medium means air medium. So now here I need to switch the mediums on the top it's 
denser medium it is denser or glass and bottom is rarer or air medium now in this case when the light is traveling from denser to rarer medium it is bending away from the normal what is the reason for that the light is bending away from the normal that is due to because of the density of the material so when light travels from one medium to another medium the speed of light will changes so here i am having the source to change the light if you take any color of light so the same thing happens if i play with all the colors in that light source light is a combination of seven colors so if you can play with all the colors the same thing happens so this property is known as refraction so finally the refraction definition when light travels from rarer to denser medium it will bend towards to the normal we need to discuss about refraction through a glass lab suppose see at the setup at here so this is a glass lab and we need to do experiment also over this suppose when the light is incident on the glass lab with an angle so this is known as incident ray and the angle made by the incident ray to the normal we call as angle of incidence i and at here you closely observe one faint ray is you are observing so this is known as reflected light so because glass reflects light also and we don't bother much about that but we need to concentrate much when light is traveling inside the glass lab so here you can notice that it is bending towards to the normal bending towards and this angle we will represent with r that is known as angle of refraction not only that and this ray we call as refracted ray okay now at here light is entering and it is traveling inside the glass lab so that i call as when light is traveling from rarer to denser because the outside medium we used to take usually air medium now if you can see at the bottom clearly closely at here now the light is coming from inside the glass lab to outside now this ray in this case particularly i like to take as incident ray when light is coming now from inside the glass lab when it is coming from inside the glass lab it means light is traveling from denser medium to outside here the outside medium is air medium rarer medium now here we closely observe the light ray is bending away from the normal so here is bending away from the normal so at the same in the same diagram here we observe both when the light is traveling denser sorry rarer to denser in the first case at here in the second case when the light is traveling from the denser to rarer in this both the cases it is bending towards or either away from the normal so this property we call as refraction so this really things happens when we do when we look into the light through the glass materials
now let us discuss in detail about the further now this is the corresponding ray diagram which i discussed when the during the refraction light bends first passing from air to glass and again on passing from glass to air so if this is the incident ray in the first case it is passing from air to glass it is passing along in this direction but inside the glass material it is bending towards to the normal but when it is coming out it means it is a refracting away so the light ray is going away from the normal means the light ray here is traveling from glass to air so the ray which is starting that called as incident ray the ray which is traveling inside the glass slab that we known as refracted ray and finally the ray which is coming out that ray we known as emergent ray so this is a uh, ray diagram and we need to do the practical for this purpose also so when the time comes we will perform the practical so to understand this analogy so we can put certain analogy at here when light slows down light slows down when it enters an optically denser medium here the denser medium is water medium so light is getting slow it is slows down the refractor ray bends towards to the normal when the second medium is optically denser so this is the refractor ray it is bending towards to the normal so if i take an analogy at here so when a car is taking turn but all of sudden in the turn if you there is a sand is present over there so the car starts to bend inside so with that analogy we can easy to understand it or in another case if you can take when light speeds up when it enters an optically less dense medium it means when light travels from denser medium here the denser medium is water and coming out from the rarer medium so light speed increases so because of the light speed increases that's why it is bending away from the normal so in the two cases the light is bending towards and light is bending away from the normal so this property we known as refraction suppose if we take more than two mediums so this is a special case to make you further understand first of all see the figures here i am having three mediums one is air another one is water and third one is glass so we know that the density of air is less than water and the density of water is less than glass it means among these three glass density is more and second next one water and least denser material goes to air so if you can see if you can draw the ray diagrams for this initially the light ray is coming from air to water so according to refraction it is bending towards to the normal yeah it is bending towards to the normal so this is the first interface due to the second interface means second two mediums here you can see now the light is entering from water to glass in this case light is entering water to glass now glass density is more than the water now in this case again the light ray will be bent further more now here you can closely observe the angles carefully so the angles at here from the refracted angles so here the refracted angles r1 
it looks like little bigger but here the refracted angle r2 now that angle is smaller now when light rays traveling three different mediums and each one having greater density so if it is traveling from one medium to another medium if the denser medium the light ray is supposed to be bend towards to the normal and let us see exactly what happens opposite now in this case light is coming from glass then after entering in water and finally it is coming out from air follow the arrow mark carefully so now the light is incident from the glass to water so at here is the angle of incident and we know that according to refraction property when light is traveling denser to rarer or less denser material water is more dense sorry glass is more denser than the water so obviously the refracted ray is bending away from the normal so it is bending away from the normal because density of glass is greater than density of water now in this case you can see when light is coming from water to air now it is bending further more so the refracted you can see how much the light bend since because the density of water is greater than density of air so that's the reason when the light is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium perfectly you can say that optical denser medium to optical rarer medium because of the light velocity increases so that's the reason it is bending away from the normal so because of this property only we used to see certain optical illusions so that's the what the first slide i shown to you so the straw appears to break based on refraction we need to learn two laws there is a first law the first law says in the refraction the incident ray and the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane so this law we already know that in the from the earlier case so it means at here we can observe if you can apply the law at here so this is the incident ray and this is the normal and this is the refractor ray the three should be lie in the same plane yeah by seeing from at here so they all appears to lie at the same plane so that is the first law known as law of refraction again the incident ray the refracted ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lie in the same plane and the second law very 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 important law here we need to notice what is the angle of incidence i and r which is known as angle of refraction the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to sin of angle of refraction nothing is there we need to find a ratio of sin trigonometric function sin i by sin r the ratio of sin of angle of incidence to sin of angle of refraction if you can find this ratio we can get a constant so that constant we are giving a name so that name is known as refractive index so refractive index is a constant which is a constant we need to divide angle of incidence it's a sine value 
divided by angle of refraction it's a sine value so that ratio gives a constant that constant we are calling a refractive index we are representing with a small n or we can use with a greek letter called mu m u e so with the help of this refractive index we can easily figure it out the ratio of sine of angle of incidence to sine of angle of refraction so this law gives the second law under refraction